Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be learning more about what's expected from the 2010 World Cup in South Africa from the author of The World is a Ball. I think this will be a great World Cup for, for a couple of reasons. One is the first World Cup to be held in Africa, which is monumental in the history of the game. The last time that the World Cup was held outside of the usual power groups, which would be Europe and South America, it was held in Asia in Korea and Japan in 2002. And for some reason, being in Asia, there was a kind of psychological disconnect for some of the teams and the great players there. Perhaps because they were just so far from home and it was an alien environment. Perhaps because instead of having 50,000 fans supporting them in the, in the stadium, there were only 5,000 because not everybody could travel to Korea and Japan. But some of the the great teams going into that uh, World Cup, like France, like Portugal, even Italy, did not do that well. Now this time, you're having the World Cup in Africa, again, very distant from the home countries for many of the big powers in soccer. I think some of the stronger teams on paper won't do as well as expected. I think some of the smaller countries will do well, especially African countries like South Africa itself, the host country, Nigeria, the Ivory Coast, they have great players. And perhaps the pride in playing the World Cup for the first time in Africa will drive them to a level above their normal play. I'm hoping for and fully expecting a lot of upsets at this World Cup. There will be two really great teams going into the tournament. That's Brazil and Spain, probably two strongest teams in the world. But at this World Cup, I would say a lot of upsets and anything could happen.